Hi guys, so in this particular video, we are going to discuss some of the mathematical functions that have been supported in MySQL. So majorly we have three mathematical functions, one is mod, another, another one is truncate, and another one we have is a round method. Okay. So if you are familiar with some of the programming language, so mod is basically a sort of a function, okay, or in many of the programming language, it's an operator, which is used to return the remainder. So if you divide a number with some another number, so whatever is the remainder that you get, so the same thing you get it in the mod, okay? So for example, <coughs> so if I say, if I just uh, try to divide this 10 by two, and if I show you in this dual table, so I should get a remainder as zero, okay? Because the 10 is completely divided by two. Similarly, so if you just try to use the same mod function, if you try to divide the 10 by two from this dual, so you will again get zero. But if you make it 11, okay so what do you get so you get the value as one so what happens is so this mod has given you a remainder one okay here now the another one we have is a round method so round method is generally going to round off the value for you so i'm going to put the round okay and uh, let's i just mention it as 12.55 so what it is going to do is it is going to make this 12.5 round off to the value of 13 because if just remember whatever is the value after the decimal so if the value after the decimal is 5 or more than 5 so the integer value will be converted to the upper value so if it is 12 it will be converted to 13 if it is 14 it will be converted to 15 so let's check it so we see we get 13 now if it is less than 4 uh, sorry if it is less than 5 so the output will be 12 so let's check it so it is 12 okay Similarly, it's not only the case you can only round off the complete value, you can also round off the value of decimal part, okay? So if I just mention one, so means I wanted to round off the first decimal value. So what is this first decimal value right now? That is four, okay? And uh, let's take a second example. Let's make it 12.47. So I wanted to round off the value as four, okay? So if I wanted to round off this value four, so I will be checking the next value. So what is this next value? So here the next value is seven. So if the next value is five or more than five, so the current value, the first value, the first decimal value will be converted to the upper upper part. So if it is four, it will be converted to, converted to five. If it is six, it will be converted to seven. If it is eight, it will be converted to nine. So let's check it. So it will be 12.5, okay? Now, just remember, if it is, let's say eight, it will be converted to 12.9, okay? Similarly, you can also round off the value as the second in the second decimal place. Okay, so what is our second decimal place? That is seven. Okay, so now if you wanted to round off this uh, value seven, okay, which is available on second decimal place, so do we have another value after seven? No. So the round of value will be simply twelve point eight seven itself. So just check it; it will be complete twelve point eight seven. Okay. So a very common question that has been asked a lot of time in interviews. So if the value is nine, okay, and if I wanted to round off this one, okay, so what will be the output? Either it will be 13.0, either it will be 13, either it will, either it will be 12.9, what will be the correct output? So here, if you just check it, it will be 13.0 because we are rounding off the decimal part, okay? So this nine will be round off so we will be checking the next value so the next value is seven or more than or more than five simply so this round nine will be converted to the upper value of 10 so the output will be 13 okay so i hope you understand like how this round function is going to work now in the upcoming video we will be talking about more of the mathematical function that is truncate okay so the truncate is not going to round the value it is going to extract the particular decimal part or the integer part okay so till then i will see you in the next video till then have a great day and bye